Welcome to Dynamic Excel Charts number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link. You can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Chart Series. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to do a statistics chart, an area chart for probability. And we want part of it to be static and part of it to be dynamic. And we're going to add the dynamic part to the chart with an extra column. All right, um, the first thing is, we have uh, our x value and then the probability. This is uh, norm dist with a 0. Not going to get into the statistics of this. You can search YouTube for Excel statistics, and I have over 100 videos on various uh, statistics topics. This 0 right here determines the height of the curve. It's not a probability. All right, um, let's create an area chart. I'm going to control asterisk to highlight that. Go up to insert area and boom. It's not going to interpret it correctly, <laughs> that X. So I'm going to click on this and delete. And there we have our area. It looks like a standard normal curve. I'll click there, delete. Click there, delete. I'm going to add some labels. And actually I can come right up to uh, design, quick layout. I don't see anything I don't see anything there. It's all chart junk. So I have to come up here. Uh, axis titles. I'll do vertical. And I'll do F of X. Enter. Then I'll come up to layout and do one more. Horizontal. And we'll do X. Alright, now the idea here is this is all the area. And we have an x value, and we want to plot the uh, probability because area under a curve, all this area equals 1. Ooh, that's not what we want there. I'm going to, uh, we'll change that. But all the area is 1. If we have some line here representing x 475 or less, that's the probability of getting that value or less. So what we're going to do is add an extra column, and I'm going to add a label at the top. Equals in quotes, F, open parentheses, X less than or equal to, close double quotes, ampersand 475. That way I can change this and the chart and this label will be uh, dynamic. Ampersand, double quote, close parentheses, uh, and double quote. So I'm going to control shift down arrow, get my little uh, paintbrush up there, and then click right there. All right, now a formula, and the idea is we want the area only below this. There's our x, so we do an if equals if this right here is less than or equal to this, and lock it with the F4 key, then what do we want? We want the actual height of the curve. Otherwise, we want double quote close parentheses. And that formula will work all the way down. Control Enter. And then double click and send it down. Now we can simply plot this. Control Shift down arrow. Watch this. I'm going to copy. Copy. This is a way to add data to a chart. And then I'm going to click on the chart and I'm going to Control V. It didn't work. Control Z. Let's try it uh, uh, a different way. Right click, I don't see Paste Special. We'll come up to Home, Paste Special. And uh, this is in Charts. This thing pops up. Um, OK, so our values, we want a new series. Our values, um, are in, they're in a column. Series name in first row, that's true. Click OK. Oh, let's do, no, that's correct. And there it is. So that was a uh, uh, pay special option. That avoided having to go up to design, select, and then use the uh, add, edit, edit button. All right, so let's see if this works. So I'm going to change this to uh, 600. And sure enough, that changes. I think I want uh, a label here, so I'm going to go up to insert. 
Where's my text box? Oh, I'm just going to use a rectangle. Uh, and then I'm going to hit the F2 key and equal sign, just as we did before, and do click on that cell right there. And then maybe I'll do an arrow, something like that. I'm just going to, just so we kind of get the idea. And it's blue, the same color, so it'll kind of be handy there. Um, let's change this to 300. Maybe expand this a little bit. Change this to 150. Oh, can't even see it. Uh, 480. All right, so that's a, a uh, partial dynamic uh, part of the chart, given an extra column here and a, a dynamic label. Oh, and look at that, those labels. I almost forgot. I almost turned off the video without. For this always has to be linked. Well, when we do, when we did that uh, area chart with those two uh, data series, it. Um, it gave us the wrong label, so we're going to go up to Design and then Select Data. We need to edit. See how it says one, two, three? Ooh, that's not right at all. Edit, and we want our X values. Control Shift Down Arrow. Click OK. Click OK. Let's see if that did it. Sure enough, now we have it linked. There's our proper X. And uh, again, let's try this right here. 599. All right, um, that's 11 dynamic chart tricks, all sorts of different ways to do things. We'll see you next series.